these five unfavorable situations are the sign of losing country, of losing our country. Yes. Please, uh, please uh, change all this and follow the ancestry uh, policy is better, yeah, the, the better one before. So uh, nowadays, at present, the present I King are giving charity to all the countries. Yes, every country, every small country obey his uh, order. Only our country did not. So all the citizens are hating us. Please, Your Majesty should open all the store and uh, you know, donate it to people so that even your children will um, will de derive this uh, benefit from this great merit. And then your children will have merit for a long time. After the king heard us, his face became black. He was very angry. Angry. You know all this? Huh? How you know all this? Huh? <laughs> you can see the future. <laughs> huh? Huh? I will see I will see if it's if the people really hate me or it is uh, from your own mouth. I don't believe it is. I will not change anything. I'm the king. I say so and it is so. <laughs> <laughs> So this uh, official, Lao Dada, was thinking to himself, <sighs> I saw that the, the king doesn't have a good policy, no? hmm. doesn't know how to govern the country. So I was really trying to introduce some better advisers and helpers into the court. But not only he doesn't listen to my advice, and he, he was even angry with me. It surely will be dangerous for me. Uh, now I have to think of the way to help our country people. But then uh, his, whatever his uh, strategy has been exposed. And then the king, as his uh, you know, shoulder, come and uh, catch him. But he know it in advance, so he uh, run. Uh, he ride on the horse, rode on the horse, and run away, escape. The shoulder follow him on his heel, and he has to turn turn back and shoot, kill eighteen people, and the rest was scared and run away. The rest of the shoulders. Yes. This uh, these officials, you know, the good virtuous officer went to the pleasant I country, and uh, come into have audience with the king. The king was very happy to receive him, and and then uh, he he see that this court officer is very eloquent, very good, yeah, very uh, clear, and every answer, everything he knows a lot. He is very happy, yeah. So he used him mm, as one of his ministers, advisors. And then after a while, they became more close. Yeah? He became more close with the king, pleasant eyes. And then he slowly uh, told the king, pleasant eyed, about his former king, about how bad he was, and all that. Okay. And then uh, the pleasant king asked his or uh, his uh, ministers, uh, "This country uh, does does it?" Be does it belong to under my rule or not? And they say yes, yes, your Majesty. But uh, he most they mostly uh, you know ignore us. They never uh, visit or have a, a diplomatic tie to Malta. They don't even care what you say. They don't obey your order. Yeah. <clears throat> so Laudaba, then the the official that escaped, yeah, new officials, officials say, your Majesty. This king is very, very stubborn and very ignorant. He is also indulging in, in sensual, sexual pleasure. You know, every citizen hates him uh, and thinking of him like an enemy. 
So please, uh, if you give me uh, enough shoulders, I will go there and destroy him. And the pleasant king, okay, hmm. say American, huh? okay. <laughs> give him a lot of shoulders and, you know, uh, weapons. Yeah. And order many other countries, smaller countries, come help him also. And one of the one of the neighboring countries to this bad king came and, and secretly told him about that. So he was very scared, you know, the, the bad king, very scared. Oh, he came and wear a very tattered clothes, tried to escape. He was kind of hiding, you know. He don't wear the king clothes anymore. He just wears some some tattered clothes and hiding, very, very uh, secret place. Do you still have this ginger tea like yesterday? Today, do you make ginger tea? Same? Can I have some later? I can been coughing. How come I don't have ginger tea? I want, <laughs> I want ginger tea like everybody else. <laughs> it's okay, maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> so um the prime minister uh, found out his uh, hideout in you know, a secret hideout and asked him oh, your majesty what 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 worries you so much so he said oh you don't know uh lauda bak you know the minister escaped to the country fukalabak and then he uh, connect with the pleasant king, and then other uh, 84, 83,000 other countries are coming with a lot of shoulders. and want to destroy our country, and he want to capture me. So the uh, prime minister told him, "Oh, your Majesty, you don't worry so much. Don't worry so much. Uh, I, I." We we have to uh, we have to gather all the court officials and talk about this. Also, I have a good way. I have uh, a plan. Oh, so he's uh, happy a little bit. Came back to the palace and uh, caught, uh, summoned summoned all of his uh, officials, and then he said, "All of you should know, our country is in danger. The pleasant king." Uh, shoulders are coming. Mm. How are we going to? Um, how are we going to? Oh, what? Face it. To face it. Uh, how are, how are we going to fight them? Mm. Oh, everybody talk one way or another. You know, nothing. You you useless. It's it's usual. <laughs> it's normal with a king who doesn't know how to use good people, yeah, and who just like to listen to sweet talk, and keep all this sweet tongue around. Tongue can do anything much <laughs> when a country is in danger. No, <laughs> so, so not surprised. Ne? Nobody has any good idea. Yeah. So the prime minister came up and said, uh, "I heard that the king Pleasant Eye, Pleasant Eyes, has a vow like this. Yeah. Uh, except his parents, he will not give away." Uh, everything else he will give. He will give even his con his country, his throne, his kingdom, his uh, royal royalty, even his wives, his children. Anybody ask anything, he will give. Except asking for his parents, and he won't give. Anything else he give. In our country, there is a blind Brahmin. Yes, uh, you you order him to come here. Yeah, and then you tell him to go to the Pleasant Eye King to ask for his eyes. Then even then, we don't have to fight him. They will return to their countries because the king is blind and maybe dead.